Soviet submarine Foxtrot B-49. She was built in Leningrad at the Sudamek shipyard in 1966 and commissioned the following year serving in the Northern Fleet until 1974 when reassigned to patrol in the Baltic Sea. Powered by 6,000 horsepower diesel engines with 4,050 horsepower electric motors with an auxiliary backup motor with the horsepower of 140. Maximum peacetime operating depth was 280 metres, 920 feet down. Equipped with 22 nuclear-tipped torpedoes and 53 explosive mines, she had the same explosive power to the Hiroshima bomb. In later life she was eventually used as a training vessel for crews from overseas who were operating the Foxtrot-class submarines in their own navies. Amazing. Wow. What's that handle to the torpedo? Yeah, the size of that. Oh, Christ. So they're proper sealed. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to be opening that. Though. No, I think there's probably, if they're, un if they're underwater, then it's two got one. Amazing paintwork. And look, look. What? I suppose that would show whether the tu the, the torpedo tube is uh, filled with water before yeah. firing. I assume so. You don't want to fire it when there's no water in it. Cause it would be bad. So they flood it first, don't they? Yeah. So these are the torpedo uh, lifting devices. I'll put my bag with yours before I throw it down. Right, this is as bad as you down the bottom bit? Yeah, I went down there. Let's go down there again because I won't with you for one. Must this whole cruise um, life jacket? They've life got to be stored in here. So there's going to be another section, isn't it? Yeah, it's like plastic. Down here is where the batteries were stored. That gave the submarine an underwater endurance of 10 days. Massive space. What originally would they have had in here? Don't oh, know. The seating and that's newer, isn't it? Obviously. Yeah, this is like the museum sort of shop back in the days when it was in Folkestone. I'm sure this would just be storage. They see, like they've cut like, some bits out here. That... Oh yeah. It's probably uh, yeah, machinery. It's all the way down. So. Oh look, that's what's under the floor then. You know that uh, thing down here. What's oh, under there? Yeah. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> What's well, the hatch into here? And there's, and look, a, and there's a ladder. Look, the brackets there from the ladder. There's a ladder there. Oh, yeah. Crazy. I mean, this is like seating, so I don't know if they did talks or something when it was at Folkestone today. Possibly. What a shop, gift shop. I don't know if they had to sank above. I think you had to go on. I don't know. Alright then folks, welcome to the Soviet submarine.
we actually are partly underwater, only partly. It's uh, we're, we're we're at the surface, but this section is probably just about underwater. I think so. That's a bit creepy, isn't it? Right. So let's, uh, let's check something out. See, we've got the name tag still on it. Yeah. That fan's on. Captain, cap, cap, uh, <coughs> captain's cabin. Captain's <coughs> cabin. Thing there, look. Broadcast the whole sh the whole uh, sub from his bed. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. Soviet newspapers. It's very humid. Yeah. I smelt a whiff of um, old sub uh, battleship submarine smells right at the aft uh, torpedo bay. So these are radios. Radio room. Sometimes you might find some original fact oh, oh, facts. Life jacket. Yeah. Oh wow. Come on, put that on, Chris. Um. No. That is cool, isn't it? That's a proper Russian one. What's that open up? KPRA. It's quite heavy. I'm not sure it actually keep you floating, though, would it? Don't know. This uh, preserver preserves life. Yeah. We did once, I'm not sure we did now. That's quite cool. Right, you going? Next yeah. room? Right. Oh, yeah, look, look, they've all got one. There you go. That was creepy. It's a bit nice. What's that there as well? Is that a dinghy? Yeah, could it be. is, isn't it? I don't know, look. Probably original sure. fact. There's more people banging around outside. You, it yeah. feels a bit more. What's that? Does the door work? Not with me in it, just in case. It tells, I like the little plaques that say what they are. Oh, Fire extinguisher. First aid. Guy account of that, isn't it? Or is it a radio? Very senior officers cabin cabins. Yeah. Twenty four officers and fifty men made the crew of the submarine. Wow. And this is it, this is where we, me and Chris would come. Is it radio? Radio? <laughs> radio? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I did at the back of the room. Yeah. I thought it was a Geiger counter. Oh, it might be. And what looks a bit like a gas mask or something. Got hands in the back. So this is where me and Chris would come and we'd have a few beers. Mm. There's already one there for you. That's it, go and take a seat Chris. Sorted. Go and take a seat over there. So you... There's a bench in the right there. Go around the other way. Shows you how small these things are as well when you're hunching over like that. Yeah. Oh, so look, the, ta the table folds up. So you oh, can yeah. Squish it up, and then if there's more people in there, you can open it up. Amazing. And I'm... I suppose this doubles as sleeping. Yeah. You see the ventilation pipes are weird. Oh! You know what we've missed? What's that? Look. Oh yeah, look at this. That clips onto that. And doesn't it? Oh well. With probably some other bits. Right. Bunks. Yeah, that is, isn't it? Yeah. So More space for sleeping, it's crazy. You sleep six. So 50 men and 20 something officers. Yeah. See in here? What you got there? Mug. Oh, still got the. Uh, so that's, that's proper, genuine. Yeah, genuine uh, Rush Soviet stuff, folks. Soviet newspapers. Isn't it? I bet some officers had some parties in here. Wow. Oh, that's got to be original. Right? 
sleep for the hours in here. Good. I said to Chris, I said, um, it'd be nice to have a sleepover. Sleepover. So let's unhook the hat. I didn't want, I didn't want to do that. Oh, that's not good. And it hooks into that. Look at that, folks. Wow. Better not lock it. Well, then that goes around like that. That's more, more, but we're not going to do that because we won't. I actually do feel a bit claustrophobic. <laughs> that is crazy. Proper tight as well. That's, that would have stopped smoking all well, sorts. Look, the sealant around it. Because also that twists. That's locked in place now, isn't it? That won't move now, will it? So you can run through, uh, jump. Go on, Chris. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. it does look in place. Let's have a go then. <coughs> Look at that. Rush, I to, reckon the, rush to the front line. You got your torch, Miller? Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you something. Shall I turn this off? Yeah. Oh, no, hang on. Watch. Oh, I can see it already. Look at that. Wow. Hey Chris, Chris, yeah. you got to come and see this. See what others can find. Just... Look at all the stuff. dials, all glowing. It's yeah. Oh wow, so it's all powered up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. Oh. Let's see if I can get that on the film. I love how it's all original. This is amazing how dark it is, right? No flash. This will be a. All down there as well. So you'd be like 300 meters, 300 meters underwater. How do they know what every single knob and stuff did? There's just so many. The worst nightmare for a submariner is to find themselves stuck at the bottom of the ocean. They will experience increasing physical discomfort and a period of inaction. The best they can hope for is that they will have to undertake the most dangerous exit from a submarine. The sad, tragic story of the submarine USS Thrasher. On the 10th of April 1963, while conducting deep dive tests, the USS Thresher got into difficulties, then communications were lost. She was found on the seabed some 2,600 metres down. 129 people lost their lives when she sank to the bottom of the sea. The Thresher was the first of only two submarines to sink that killed more than 100 people on board. The second being the tragic sinking of the Russian submarine Kursk, which sank with 118 souls on board. <sighs> Try it again. Pass that torch, Chris. So when the submarine was all powered up, and all the lights went off all of a sudden, all these little dials would be still there. See, would they, they'd all light up inside, I suppose, and when they went off, they'd be charged, would they? You know, to light... I suppose, yeah, there would have been lights inside them, yeah. A little bulb or something. They don't light up. Well... <laughs> suddenly really dark. Right, ready? What's in here? Didn't see this oh, this is the. Uh, oh, we missed it over here again, Chris. This conning tower. Yeah. I'll be good, there, mate. Shot that. Yeah. Dude, if I fold that camera for you, in, you get up and I'll pass it up to you if you like. All right, cheers. Yeah. Wow. I know. It's... Did you go up this before? No, I had all my bag and no, that. You're the first one up there today. Wow, 
Can you see through the periscope? Is it? No. Um, I sp it's not up, is it? No. I don't know. Yeah. Not sure. Probably not, is it? Oh my god. I'm sure the folks want to see this as well. Don't you like. Hang on. It's got a bag on it or something. That's looking through the periscope, folks. Whoa. There's a hole there. Watch your head. Yes. Original flooring, though, look. So Chris was saying about this being for uh, the divers. Pull it down with something like that. What was it, like a... to cover them? Or a shield to stop heat rising or something seeing it, like... Yeah. Someone out there will soon tell you. It's been repaired as well with puncture repair kit. Puncture repair kit. So it must be waterproof for a reason. Yeah. That goes up to the hatch. We're right on top of the conning tower. Yeah. Probably back in the days of being... Going to the public, isn't it? Mm, uh, oh, you got more dogs, look. I like twiddling things, but sometimes you wonder if you should. Yeah, there's another one here. Can you see through that one? You can, yeah. It's, it's like, um... It's blinded by the light. Sorry. It's like it's uh, cracked or something, or melted. What are they for, I wonder, look? Straps attached to the wall. Do they hold yeah. something, or...? No. This is pretty much the last point if you want to escape in it in here. Maybe a couple of guns or something to hang out. It's not much in the way of a seal really, is it? Pro water pressure pushing down on it, keep it shut. Yeah. And seal it proper. So I guess you'd end up with a bit of water in here, wouldn't you? Hence the double. Just a second. So you could shut that. You could sh you could, what you could do is um, get in here mm. and fill this with water, make it equal pressure to the outside, then you can open the hatch. Yeah. Something like that, isn't it, Chris? But it would have to be everything in here, would have to be waterproof then. I've got to watch out here because there's two Chris's, so I think they're getting confused with who I'm talking to. <laughs> so I'm going down. She said. Oh, no, no, that's. What? Oh, sorry, Chris. Just rust got rust on his head. Yeah, it's just rust up there. No one's been up there for ages. Is anyone up here today? What's that? Been up there today. Just me. <laughs> That's right. I got <laughs> Got to be done. Be one of going here for like ten Slide years. down this. All right, shall I take that, Chris? I like the fact that everything goes into the dark. Yeah. Yeah. In the main room, was lighting them all up. Mm -hmm. like, like just turn your lights off. It's just like a Christmas tree. It's a toilet. Yeah. You must have had to sit forward on that. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Two toilets in the whole sub. Is huh? that plot, chop, plotting room? Charts. God, I'm sweating now. <laughs> the map room. the smallest places. Oh god. This is what I'm saying. You, you obviously had to be of a certain height. Didn't you? Yeah. There's another pretty woman there. No picture. So this is where uh, all the officers would have uh, planned where they were going. One in there. Oh, no, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Another radio control, so you can speak to the captain or whatever, or the captain can speak to the whole ship. Shame it isn't all still like power, doesn't it? Yeah. Because there's lots of dials, I've no idea what anything does, but... Put that back. You see... Oh, no. Just tied your nut. Oh, look at that! Wow. Let's go, can you shut the door, Chris? I'm trying to work in here. I'll swear, mate. 
Cheers. Hope that opens. Slide it, mate. Huh? You can you slide it open? Good. I heard a click and I thought if that was not a start, I thought that could have clicked in like a bloody. I wonder what the key was. I wonder if that's the key to the door. Which is called map room. So small. You can barely get round here, folks, look. Huh? Like the dial. This is a bit though, all the dials. Like yeah, I'm hoping to get the phone. Whoa. Yeah, we're shifting out of the way. Why didn't you go on this bit? Where's the dial? Oh, it's a radar room. Oh, look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh. Oh. That's glass. Oh, yeah, look. Say. Oh, animals? Oh, Jesus, pigeons. This has been pulled out. Put it back in then. So everything slides out so you can work on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Everything's so heavy duty. It is. Built to last. The Russian it nowadays, it'd be plastic. Yeah, it would be. A laptop. Glass cabinet up there. If you think how much this technology probably now would be run by like one computer. Laptop, yeah. Oh, plug sockets. <laughs> oh, look! What? That's where that clock I've got home, that's where that would have gone. Is it? That Soviet clock. Does it have the. Yeah, I've got that wall mount on, on my wall. Donate it then. <laughs> No, it's got the it's got springs behind it to stop the depth charge. It's like yeah, no. <laughs> Amazing. Uh -huh. So this is where the clock would have been. Yeah, yeah. Are they? No, they're not. They're not Just periscope. Look at some of the pipe piping. Don't know. That is. A lot of it's been covered in paint. Yeah. Right, ready? Yeah. Busy, you know? Yeah. Whoa, what are they? Fuses. Oh, that looks like a gunk. Power thing. Slip, slide the other door, mate. Hey, the dials are lighting up great. This is where the dials are lighting up great. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get a little bit of power. Yeah, it's Radio room. It's got loads of this is all original oh, stuff. Look, it's a proper itchy blanket. <laughs> There is just some serious junk in some of them though. Yeah. Piled away. Oh, that all. Look at that, these are all like... These, look, oh, that one, pull down from flaps, it's just there. The wood swirl, isn't it? Yeah. That picture there. These hobnails. Did the beds lift up? What's under the bed, Sam? Like storage? Oh god. Yeah, storage stuff. Graffiti on there. Oh, wow. What's in there? It's a duffel bag. I wonder if all this stuff's original. I reckon all this stuff is. Oh, look! Volvo folks! <laughs> Sorted folks! A Russian Volvo. Where's he in there anyway? In here. Oh. 
Dave. How you doing, folk? Yeah, good. It feels less creepy actually with more people on it. Yeah. Another eating quarters. Sleeping accommodation. Yeah, again, it's another table, look, it folds up. Oh, oh look, it extends. So everything folds up, doesn't it? Yeah. Heater down there. On the floor. Mate? What's that? Oh, I, I'm I think some of these signs are in the wrong places, you know. Right. There's another lovely lady in here. Quite smells of painting there. Who was this in use up to then? 90s? Yeah, probably, yeah. Because I mean, you've got loads of pictures like that. you got. Not quite sure why this picture. Is that the sub? <laughs> I wonder if that's, that's bad. Picture of the sub? I don't think it's this one, is it? No, it's not this. That was a slipper. I'm sure it should be looking at everything. Why not? Why not indeed? Oh, there's a letter. Oh, that smells. Gucci blanket, minstrels, padlock. Oh, I've got a padlock. That could be old one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There's another one with straps. It must be a strap to hold the bed up or something. It is a bit like it's only for one, isn't it? 100%. Oh, caught my head on that then, boy. Commissioner's cabin. Look at the size of that cable. Yeah, there's some cut in the other one. Just reminds me of another nuclear bunker. You can look all the way down that. So that's the things you were pulling off in the other one. That's what exposed the cables and that, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's not storage. It's just to get to cables and stuff. But look at the size of them. That's the size of the boat. They're balanced. They're like cork. Balance flows. Is that, cork? that is cork, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. That's cork. Not bad, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Moving on, mates. Uh, what you've been interested in now, what that translates to. I'll bet Marcus could translate that. <laughs> I thought she'd have brought May here, because she's, well, she's Lithuanian, but she knows what she'd be able to do. Who's that? Girl, you know, I know. Stop. Swelled at the bottom, innit? Would you look in there? Popped it. No breaking the entry here. Oh, so this is where the person with the cook stuff would have handed the food to the people in there. <laughs> in there. How are you doing, Chris? You alright? How you doing, folk? Oh, you alright? Right. <laughs> oh, I was wondering what that was. What's that in there? Oh, what? Bring it down. Oh, the kitchens. It's got the old cooker in there. That's mad. It's not very big kitchen. Are we cooking like? No. Or was it 50 or crew and 25? Oh, wow. That's quite That's a big crew. Yeah. Yeah. It said 50 normal and like 25 offices yeah. or whatever. That's the same as it we saw earlier, really. Oh, yeah. Volt meter. Volt meter. Oh, that's, that edge, yeah. that's oxygen, isn't it? Bottom. What's that? 
Oh, look at this stuff. The breathing apparatus. Oh, look at the rot. It's quite bad to see actually, all that rot. It's got rubber though, isn't it? Just... And some big old stuff. What's on the back of this door? Can't, oh, well, it's oh. chained. It's chained. That's a bit of a merit, isn't it, to see the actual cable still intact in places where Yeah, did you see one of the rooms that side, there's this big old cable like that, yeah. and it's been cut through. Oh, is it? Yeah, so yeah. cable robbing has happened. <laughs> happened in here as well, look, have you seen this? It's like where the dials were like. Lots more cables have been robbed in here. Oh, yeah, they're all... Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say for the rest of the Yeah, Because that would have gone all the way along the back there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's just, it goes along that side, look, all in the ducting. Oh, <laughs> Oh, is that the pistons? Yeah. I wonder how actually... Oh, I don't see that. Yeah, I wonder yeah. how far down this actually engine goes. Yeah. What's in there? It's pistons, then. Nathan? That's the crank at the bottom. Yeah. The pistons will be up this further up. the actual engine. Right. Well, that's your big end. Generator room. Yeah. I think that's the air intake, isn't it? What, what was it? What did it run on? Diesel. Yeah. So this is. Would it a backup? Batteries. Oh, there's light from here anyway, mate. Because you can't use diesel when you're underwater, can you? No. Exhaust, isn't it? Go. Yeah. You go through, go through that hatch. And Oh wow, it does, it does still move. Look. So what is that? It's a big... It must... I must say it just... It, it governs it somehow, like turns it up and... Turns it up and down. Oh look, you've got different kind of lights, so I guess red is like too much. Oh, I see. It might be buoyancy devices. There's a few of them though, isn't there? It's, it's got to be some. You know, you can just hear lots of flicking the switches. Everybody, get, get, get. it's got to be some fans out there that can decipher Russian and yeah. just give us some idea of what it all is. Because it's like the, all the plates are still there, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. It's obviously not buoyancy. It's obviously electric somehow, isn't it? But probably the battery back up. No, you're all right. Oh, there was a somewhere. <laughs> Oh my god! In here? In, oh, in the, into the. What's it called? Yeah. Couldn't! Couldn't! That's crazy. The wood falls over beyond the door. Right here. It's like a bit here. It's obviously some sort of mechanical flushing thing, isn't it? It's like. Oh, yeah, it's a shoulder. I thought that might yeah. be yeah. something to do with it. It looks like someone's already left that stuff in there. Yeah, it seems. Right, so this is the aft torpedo room. I still don't quite get how you done. How do you fire it? How do you get the torpedo? It's still, there's not a lot of space. These are the firing buttons, aren't they? These. Oh look, you did miss that. Look, you've got this here. So the torpedoes would have come in here, like the other end. Right. So you just had a narrow space to go from the middle. 
it's been changed at this end. Yeah, yeah, they might have changed it through the years, maybe. Yeah. Might when it first opened, it might have been sort of all racks either side, like a U-boat. Yeah. Wow, that's like a giant spanner there. Look. Christ. I'm amazed, how, you know, how much is still on it. See that? You going out that way? The emergency escape hatch. Mm. I don't. I don't see how. I mean, you said about the, about the rubber bit. I don't quite see how it works. No, I don't. Because water would get through it, obviously. Of course, wouldn't it? Yeah. Seep through it. So they took the handle and stuff off. I'm not sure I'm directly right, but this is something they used to put down for divers, so they could go out of the submarine. I don't know. Right, this, that is. this cover stuff. It's got a rubber cover. Comes down. I don't know if it's true or not, but right. That's what it looks like. It's twenty odd years since I've been in here last. Right. Yeah, the tour. Yeah, it looks like. And they said it's something to do with. This goes comes up or goes down for divers getting in and out. Oh right. Diving bell to be attached, and then they can come into the sub. That's interesting. Maybe someone else will know a bit than us. Yeah. The rubber stuff. Yeah. All right. Oh. You've got green, red. I'm assuming it's batteries. Yeah. Something to do with batteries. I'm sure someone will tell us. It looks safe. Oh, earthed. Hmm? Earthed wires. I wonder if you really but needed quite so many gauges and stuff. No. Uh, <laughs> it's all overdone, isn't it? I think so. Look at the ceiling. Look at that. that one. Seal that compartment. It's got good enough. That is amazing. Take someone doing that, won't it? Because you've got to tighten all them up. Yeah. I suppose if there was a fire. To be 100% sealed. If it was a fire, I wouldn't want to be on it. Down there. Right, yeah, there you go. Lift it up. There you go. Take your arm out. Is that a picture or what? Huh? You're still better than that, Gabo. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> Hello? I'm sending you a message. Yeah. <laughs> this is all good this gear, isn't it? I'll just fix this because it's broken. No. That's what you call a phone. Proper phone, yeah. Check that out. Broken. Mobile phone out, folks. I like the Morse code. Where's that? Oh, oh yeah. It actually sounds cool. Not very good if you're hiding. Oh, there's another. Uh, I've got a submarine clock, and that's, it's got the same dial thing like that. Hooks in. See, that's probably why there isn't any in here because they've all been sold on eBay. Yeah, they, they fetch a few hundred. And Chris has got the art to it now. Run and jump for it, can't you? Yeah. I'm, I'm not jumping for it. There it is. It's not larded up enough. <sighs> Didn't hear you. Yeah. No, I wasn't just going to reply. Uh, I wasn't going to reply. Yes, that's how it's done. Oh, and then Do you want to go, Chris? Then you can come back. No, I'm muted. Do you want to be in the short? Just getting the head knocked in by accident. Mm. Right, ready? No, that's a fail, isn't it? That's one for the RKS bloopers. Right. What is it? Oh. You want to have a hangover on the stuff? Eh? Hey. You want to have a hangover working on it? Nah.
That person way. So that's the old compass. Gyro compass. There's some cables that's covered in sort of. It all depends what goes through them, I suppose. If it's foam. Yeah. Guess you can talk to different parts of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got red stuff in it. Yeah, that's depth, isn't it? Water level, I think, for like, oh. if it, maybe, I don't know. Oh, wow. So as the boat rolls or whatever the water. Where's the depth counter anyway? I don't know, it's one of these in Russian. It's going to be quite big, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be like the biggest knot. Gear the biggest time. Leave us here. You alright? Did you get this? What's that? Phone home. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> That's a mobile phone, that one, folks. Can you... You can't... Trigger <laughs> hatching. <laughs> Obviously these bits to... Yeah, I can't come into work today. Must be the like, muffle out the... Um, what, the noise and everything like that. I think the door's going to be shut. Watch the headphones. Here, Darren does it to her. Aussie. This one's a bit different because you're coming up. Oh, you could be a Russian sailor. Eh? Russian sailor. Hello, sailor. You just have to be small. This is what I keep talking about. How small you'd have to be to work in it. Well, I don't know. Or well, should you just go around bashing your head all the time? Or do you just learn to duck? I, I suppose you get used to it, don't you? The table? It's all original stuff, isn't it? That's the mm. amazing thing about it. That's what I'm saying, it's even down if you say nice. Look, original life jackets. Oh, put there especially for you, mate. Do you think it'll work? Stop me sinking. Put in a bit on. I don't think, I think that's probably out of date now. No? Oh, there we go, look at that. Can't even get dressed. Yeah, do you think it's had it stay then? Yeah, there's hooks on the other end. Yeah, there they are. We can put that on in a hurry though, would you? Chris is a uh, Russian sailor, putting his life jacket on. We wouldn't be put it on in a hurry. I would be worried you'd unbutton. Huh? Unbutton. Yeah, look, it doesn't even cover, like, my stomach. <laughs> Crazy, mate. <laughs> See, don't really fit me. Like right, that's alright. Right, show us where, where uh, the forward torpedo room is in, Chris. Other end. <coughs> right, go on then. Just keep walking. Oh. As in, into everything. Yeah? Yeah. Now you can see how hard it is to film whilst the negotiating the Quickly, yeah. We hear of compartments that are located under the floor that we've been walking on, near the aft of the sub. <laughs> we had to check these rooms out. Oh Christ, that's a <laughs> big rat, isn't it? I'll burn down that one. <laughs> oh right, yeah, cool. Tom's just fit down some tiny little one. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! Yeah, what's it like down there, Chris? Small. <laughs> He's going down. <laughs> that sounds a bit uh, claustrophobic. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> oh no, uh, look, there's loads of space here. Yeah, mate. Circle in that. What's going on? Hold on. We'll find out. Oh. Not, not much, but Ian will probably find anybody, some random other hole. Has anybody bought lard? <laughs> <laughs> That's not that tight. Got that next one down? Yeah. It's tight. Yeah, it's tight enough. It wasn't too bad getting in, right. getting out was a bit more of a pain. Right, let's have a look. Or just tip the camera down. Oh yeah. That's more worried about jumping <laughs> yeah. in, jumping in, that being it. Just 
if you talk to your critics, come and I'll just lie yourself into it. <laughs> Oh yeah. Are you in? Yeah. Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of an out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Hi. <laughs> it's it's probably service. It's you got things you can unscrew. You can unscrew the sidings. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so am I. <laughs> 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 you did say you can get into the tanks. Oh. See? So they've been doing some welding. So we might need to find out how they're doing this one, yeah. Do you need a hand? I should be alright. No, you got in there. <laughs> All right, Chris. No, not inspiration, buddy. No, I'm leaving behind. Bye. <laughs> that pub is a bit of a different story. Self <laughs> pit. Well, you probably. Yeah. Well, that's self pit. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Cheers. <laughs> There's a ladder behind you. Yeah, you? I see, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Squeeze, isn't it? Just a bit. Because it's, <laughs> it's like an egg shaped style thing, it's bloody hard. You can't twist it properly. It's I if I went. Just cross yeah. Hey? I thought you just cross frozen. Nah, it depends what location. It depends if it's collapsing. <laughs> doesn't it? Does that go anywhere? I, I didn't have the balls to start climbing over on top of all these people. Oh, watch those screwed. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Watch. Can we stay down there? That's a bit. Oh, come on, no, that needs to be helping. Well, I'll leave it up there. Well, I reckon if you were feeling nimble, you could get through. Excuse me. Further back. Yeah. Or that way. That's right. Well. You're right. Yeah. Definitely, that definitely get through that way. There's all lights down there as well. Yeah. Hi. Right, there is. There is. Oh, yeah. Another hat. Yeah. Well, shall I take it off your hands, Chris? Oh. No, no, the other Chris. Yeah. Chris two. Yeah, Chris number two. Cheers. <laughs> well, that's a dead. That's a. a bit dodgy, isn't it? Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of oil down here. Yeah? Yeah, hell of a lot. Right at the bottom of the boat we are. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. There's another hatch here. There's hatches everywhere. Oh, this is cool. This is so we're underwater right now. Try it now. He fell in then. He fell down here. Oh my God! What the? F Jesus. There's a ladder in. Easy way out. Cause, uh, can you take it again, Chris? Can I be a pain? Or something? That actually look like a, that looks like a long way down. It's oil at the bottom. This looks like. Uh, uh, Right, you're coming this way, folks. I was going to say, you ain't going to need a hand, you're an experienced veteran, aren't you? Veteran, yeah, we're going to pay bad money for that. Where am I now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh there's someone else. Oh, Tom. It's twins. Do you not find any other hatches? There's more hatches this way. This stuff, this it goes off over that stuff. direction. I think you'd be crawling around. You can get under that bit, but it just leads to under there. You'd be yeah. crawling around on your belly and you get well You see the side of the sub where it goes under. Alright. Uh, so that's basically the bottom then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, right at the bottom now, mate. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat>
Yeah, you can get right around the back there, but it's very, very tight. Very tight. Bugger being an engineer on a submarine. Located opposite the very small submarine kitchen was another hatch down, and what was down there fascinated us. Right. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Good down there. Yeah, it's quite big. It's bigger than the other ones. Worth it? Yeah. This is yeah. That was in USSR. That was in the. Uh, that's it. Yeah. It's only it's only a paper one. Look. Oh yeah, USSR. Amazing. Speaker there. That's doors. Another radio that's, for that's communication. Doors everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yet more dials and knobs. I'm not, I'm not sure if Darren has actually. <laughs> Whoa, is this what, refrigerators? Yeah, it's a huge point. It'd be interesting to get down here though, wouldn't it? Yeah. <coughs> this is where all the food would have been stored for the submarine. Wow. Feels a bit musty down here. Yeah. Oh, I've that. never thought about that actually. Can you stand that door up? Oh, did I? It's just wood and felt around it, isn't it? Yeah. Look above you. It's the old yeah, fridge. It's a, Probably it, much better than the fridge we've got he, at home. You did say it was a refrigerator section. I can hear Darren. Yeah. Are you going in there, Chris? Huh? You coming in? goes to the ballast tanks. That's crazy. Oh, look at that there, look. But that's been there since like Cold War. Screw one, huh? Yeah. So that's the fridge. And look, it's got even got a door on the outside. Yeah. Spare light oh, you see this? It's got the temperature gauges. Huh? Temperature gauges for the fridge. Oh, wow. So would you have to pop down here every time you wanted something out of the fridge? I suppose, yeah. The kitchen's just above, isn't it, I think? Yeah. It's got a lock on it as well to stop... Refrigerators? Yeah, to stop the um, people who want more food coming down. Even the light fittings in here has got springs on it. What are these food canisters? Did you see this? What, the metal ones? Yeah. Yeah. Not 
not too liking it in here. Hey? I'm not too keen on down here. Why? It's a bit... What, claustrophobic? Dusty and... We've been, been the worst places. Attached. Been the worst places. Everything is crammed in, isn't it? Yeah. Right. It's been a nightmare to work on anything, though. It's been a bloody nightmare. It's got some sort of gauge here. Don't you love our technical opinions? It's like there's a gauge here. Some sort of gauge. Does it go round? No. Well, it stops there. <coughs> You've been eyeing those cages and stuff. Get through this, you'll be climbing over the machinery. Look at the wear on that. Yeah. People have leaned on it. I'd like to climb over there. I suppose the majority of stuff you wouldn't have to touch unless there was a problem. And then a lot of it, I suppose, is more isolation, isn't it? Yeah. So if your stuff's leaking, you can isolate Ice virtually yeah, everything. Get, yeah. Got a bell you thing in. Like you see it in films, don't you? Yeah, you know, spring a leak and they start twisting knobs and stopping it. Yeah. A speaker. Yeah, and a bell. You shout down all. Oh, I forgot to tell you yeah. I want more bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you have. Yeah, I must say, them uh, fridges are absolutely amazing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I've only, I reckon I've probably been in there four times and I never really take a lot of details. No, don't you? Yeah. See, we've got the food canisters still in there. A couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. Of food would have gone inside, yeah. So which other areas did you go down? Um, near the engine, mainly. Get some work done down here. Engine room. These uh, batteries, I believe, these, uh, put in the comments section folks, it's had to do with batteries. Batter. Ge generator room? Yeah. Uh, for the, can't use diesel, like Chris said earlier, about under, under the water because there's nowhere for the uh, exhaust to come out. And that's it folks. When Russia sold the submarine, they made sure it was decommissioned so that it could not be used as a weapon of war against them. <laughs>